do so for We The People News. All right, so always look around you. Never just straight forward for the outside forces may want to commit harm upon you. I've seen this video and I thought it was a good idea to uh, do this. All right. Uh, once again, I'm not an attorney. This is a learning thing. So whatever is said and done on this, you know, may hurt some people's feelings. Caucasian person, race, a person racist 
just because of their skin color is going to help people understand how not to be racist. Any theory that needs an enemy to accomplish a goal will never end peacefully. The generalization of groups of people is wrong and detrimental to the well-being of any society. Yes, we need to change some things in this country, but teaching a child political agendas and your political beliefs is not the reason I send my child to school. Don't get me wrong. Critical race theory has some great points, but the delivery will be the downfall. I find it hard to believe that people of your stature do not understand the history of this movement. It is a small part of a larger economic war, capitalist versus socialist here in America and around the world. It is your responsibility as leaders to truly understand what we are facing and the position you are putting our children in. We are depending on you to put all of our children's best interests in mind. I feel these teachings are disregarding my child altogether. My child is biracial, and these teachings will confuse her. I do not believe it is your job to teach this lesson. And for me, my child comes home and sees a Caucasian woman and myself getting along in love, beautiful home, eat every day, food on the table, clothes on our back, and then you're going to confuse her and tell her that my wife is the enemy and that I'm oppressed. That's not true. That's not true. Bodis. My name's Maureen Bodis, 4737 Sabell Court, and I would actually like to give Demetrius the time to be able to finish what he was speaking about his daughter and her their experience, if that's anyone. I understand that racism does exist. I understand that people that look like me have had some issues throughout our history as a country and as a nation. But I am not going to blame any of you in this audience. I don't want you to feel guilty for anything that has ever been done. That is not your place. Now we can fix, we can fix a lot of things, but the problem is, is you don't want to destroy the good and the bad at the same time. Now, with critical race theory as I understand it, it is judging me by the color of my skin. Now, when it's favorably and someone judges me by the color of my skin, that's good. But when a time comes and it's unfavorable and someone judges you by the color of your skin, you're gonna call them a racist. So the issue will continue. And you have to understand this is a much, much bigger fight, and, and I'm going to go on a tangent, and most of you probably have no idea. This is a much bigger fight, and you teachers, school board members, educators, you are on the front line of this fight. It's deeper than you think, and, it, and it's here. You've seen it. They're tearing down statues. They're talking about judging someone by the color of their skin. The Fabian Society doesn't believe in violent revolution. They believe in infiltration. And I brought, and now this is how critical theory got into education. I brought this with me today to show you this is a wolf in sheep's clothing. This was the Fabian Society's first seal, their first logo of their group. They've changed it, but this was it. And these are the people that introduced critical race theory into, or critical theory into education, which hence critical race theory's foundation. I think there's a lot of good points, but I'm gonna tell you the delivery is where it's gonna fall apart. I can be for talking about racism, but I can't be for you demonizing my wife and telling my child that because of my wife who's the kindest one of the best human beings in life you're going to tell her my child who's five that her mother is the enemy because of this, her skin color i don't subscribe to that and then you're going to tell her that she can't be successful unless caucasian people change 
I don't believe that either. And I think the fact that they're going to pay hundreds of millions of dollars to do diversity training here in Olentangy, while young men that look like me are killing each other at a historic rate. Why? I truly believe it's because of the message that people look like me are constantly giving. You're always telling them, oh, the world hates you because of your skin color. How do you expect success from that? That's hopelessness. And you wonder why they're in the street doing the things they're doing because you can't get outside of the community and see different. I came from an all a community of everybody that looked like me from Belle Glade, Florida. I came to Ohio and changed. It looked like a lot of you. My grandmother told me, leave Caucasian people alone because they are the devil. That's how I grew up. But fortunately, I was able to get outside my community and see differently. And I hope through all this that we take it away from your skin, of this, the color of your skin. And if you do, do the critical legal theory, right? Because you're making it about the law. Yes, some laws are very discriminatory. Critical race theory is making it about black and white. And black and white are not racist. Those aren't real things. Those are political racism. Those are political constructs. Those are, those are titles. Those are literally, those are classifications and statuses that was created in the late 1600 by slave owners to separate us because we were coming together to revolt against the slavery, against the elitists. And it, it ended up creating the uh, Virginia Slave Code of 1705. And they said, let's give these indentured servants a little bit more. Let's create some laws to separate them from people that look like me. And you're selling that every time you call yourself black or white. We're never going to change things truly if that's what you're teaching. Thank you. I just want to say at this point of history lesson, right, 1705, okay? Now, for the majority of the people who don't know about this, right? There was white slaves and black slaves at that time. And they gave white slaves a little bit more freedom because the white slaves and the black slaves was working together to get their freedom back. Okay? But since they gave white slaves a little bit more freedom and did not do the same for the black, black slaves, it caused conflict between the black slave and the white slave and had to be fair it's happening today all the way to this day and at 1705 this was England uh, 16 something I can't think of his name now but this all really started with a black slave owner uh, take it to the England courts because they were trying to get him to release uh, slaves of his slaves so uh, and then the courts sided with him and say nope uh, them are his slaves okay uh, so you guys want to dig into that a little bit more better but that's essentially what it was pause it just for one more second okay um, we also have to look y'all uh, at this day and time during the wars and this that here and there we have to realize that they were still going by presidents presidents of the, the 
the court ruling of England's time because they were still British. Alright? Uh, just because we separated when, when uh, we separated from England, they were still Brits. Okay? The mindset was still Brits, so we had to go through and change mindsets. So I know the Southern had slaves and all that kind of stuff, but some of these people were still kind of going within the Brits uh, category of thinking. All right? And then we had a racist uh, Supreme Court justice um, saying that blacks was uh, one-fifth, uh, which was not true. He was just a racist judge, and uh, he should have been kicked off, off the bench. However, it is what it is on that damn time. And this is the reason why we do not need to get rid of history. Some of these histories... You got to really dig deep because they don't show it on purpose. That's everybody seems to think that government's really, really good and all this kind of stuff. But government's been keeping a lot of history behind us, and then we still having other people trying to get rid of more history on top of the history the government's trying to get rid of. We've lost a lot of history because of the ignorance of the people and um, keeping their kingship in the government. Anyway, I just want to explain the mindset of that damn time. That's the reason why there's a declaration of independence saying all men are created equal. Because we were not supposed to have any slaves. All men are created equal. But, once again, you know, they came in from this area not wanting to separate from Britain. They did everything they can to uh, make some deals with the king and all that. And, uh, history's sake. Uh, the Redcoats... We're just going to call them red coats because that's what they were back then because they're both Brits. There's blue coats and red coats, but they're both sides were Brits. All right? The red coats attacked first. You know, the blue coats, what we call America, was trying to do peaceful things and they were still doing paperwork this, paperwork that, and all that kind of stuff. So they, they didn't want the war. It was the red coats. This is okay. We got to get our. Uh, I'm just gonna say, our slaves back in control. Them disgusting people, you know. And this is what the king's thinking, right? So let's just go ahead and attack them, um, put them back in place. And uh, who's been really despiteful? We're gonna hang them. So they, they knew one way or the other, whether if they're going to have war, they may die. But if they weren't going to have war, they're going to die. So anyway, sorry. The people in here, the people that live next door to me or next door to you never wrote a law that discriminated against you. Ever and ever. And so what we need to do what we need to do is come together and go and change what's happening in Washington because we're bringing politics into our school. My child is five years old. All she should be thinking about is Barbie dolls and, and, and going to the pool with my wife and wrestling with her daddy. And I'm being told that you're gonna send, I'm going to send my child to school and she's going to be taught about the color of her skin. And critical race theory, from what I'm understanding, it doesn't deal with people like my child who is mixed. It is black and white. So you completely discount my child. And I take offense to that. But at the end of the day, I don't want violence. I don't want revolution. I want change. And I want us all to change together. That's the only way we're going to do it. And, and as far as the school board, and I know you guys are in this, and I guarantee you feel some intimidation to implement this. 
you feel the energy that is given towards this. I'm a big study of study of history and communism and socialism and capitalism. I'm just going to tell you right now, this is a bigger fight. None of you really understand it. But I'm going to tell you, if you are born of Western culture and you have Western culture, I, cultural ideas, communism and socialism will get rid of that. They will get rid of you. And the people that are selling it, you're not free. You will either be sent to a re-education camp or other things other than that will happen. That's history. That is flat out history. You can go to the Soviet Russia. You can go to communist China. You can study Marxism. You can study England. You can study the Fabian society. They do it in different ways. But at the end of the day, with what's happening, they're using my people to implement socialist ideas and to change a capitalist society. Because if you look, you listen to Mr. Derek Bell, the godfather of uh, critical race theory, he mentions capitalism often. And for me, understanding critical theory, this is a bigger fight, folks. And I don't think people on the board, I don't know if you understand that. I don't know if you know what you're facing and what we're facing as a society. You haven't been hearing the term democratic socialist for no reason for the last five years. There's a reason you've been hearing that. There's a reason why our, our economy creates poverty. There's a reason why our education has been taken over for political purposes indoctrination and that's the first step so i hope the things that i said here is open your eyes about real the real history of where critical race theory the foundation of it comes from it is built for conflict you can't create something by having to have an enemy to make it end well i love my community I love everybody in it, and I don't love you because of the color of your skin, I love you because you're good people, and you want the best for your child just like I do. So thank you guys very much, but I want you to leave here today understanding this is way bigger than education, and I hate that they use my people to put this up. They've done it to us for decades, and we keep falling for it. I hate it, but that's what it is. That's how I see it. That comes from my study, and we keep voting for the same thing. Thank you, guys. Dana Seven Royal Ward Driving the Center. Um, just piggybacking off of him, my whole speech was about CRT, and you were talking earlier about alleviating barriers to learning and promoting a culture of inclusive excellence for everybody. And I think if you include CRT within that, you're not including all students and you're not promoting that culture of inclusive excellence that you are talking about. My two boys at Olenton G. Orange High School have experienced some of this. And so I really... Anyway, we're going to just end it here. Uh, this can get noisy here. So this is decent for We the People News. Uh, do your own research. I'm not the brightest tree on the block, so don't bank everything I say as facts. Uh, I could be misunderstanding something, overstanding something, but you never know until you do your own research. Always. Always look straight forward. Or <laughs> always look around you. Never straight forward, because there's the outside forces may want to commit harm upon you. So take this video and see what is the cause and effect of the actions that's causing around us. Bye, y'all.